Hi, and thank you for tuning in to a new episode about the Japanese STF uh, Uniform Scenic Airsoft. In this video, we're going to talk about the future episodes uh, in next year for 2022. But before we uh, start, please hit the bell notification button, subscribe to this uh, channel. Please let the comment section down below what you think about uh, what I'm going to do next year. And if you have uh, a suggestion for yourself about the Japanese Self-Defense Force or anything else about uh, other uniforms around the world that need more attention about it, Please let me know in the comment section down below. I will and want to do more and more videos about different uniforms that we do not see often or there is less talk about. That's why I started the Japanese uh, uniform uh, channel, uh, well, no, it's a JFTF uh, channel, because it is not much known about it. But back to the topic. Not again, please hit the bell notification button, subscribe to this uh, channel, and let me know in the comment section down below if you have any suggestion. So without further ado, Let's uh, start this uh, video. It is more about uh, the future about my channel. I do uh, I do apologize that I have not made new videos in the last few weeks or in the last uh, few months. I had hoped to uh, make videos once uh, each two per two week, but I um, so far I cannot uh, go there. I need more time to make videos, making new topics, but at the same time I have also a really busy uh, private life. I'm not going to talk about it. But also at work is really busy at the moment, so I need to spend more time to make each video. I do hope I can make one video per month. So the Japanese Self-Defense Force and the former Imperial Army will also be a topic for next year. I am already investing a lot of money for the Japanese Imperial Army, also for the Chinese uh, Army, also known as the Republic of uh, Taiwan uh, uniforms uh, from the Nationalist Kuomintang Army. That uniform is almost uh, complete. So we go also to distinguish what the, between the nationalist uh, Kuomintang army and the Japanese army in the Second Sino Japanese War. But there will be also a new topic in the near future, and that's the Mass Effect trilogy uh, game. For those who don't know, Mass Effect uh, trilogy is a very interesting game. I highly recommend playing it. There will some uh, spoilers in this uh, video. If you don't want to watch it. Please, uh, I put every uh, minute into the descriptions down below if you don't want to watch uh, the topics. The Mass Effect is for me a really interesting uh, trilogy game. I never played it back in 2007. Around August uh, last uh, year in 2020, I was looking for a new game. Uh, I was looking for a new game that I want to do, not only just multiplayer games. I want to play old fashioned uh, classic games that were really popular. So I was uh, trying to look up uh, some video games and came across Mass Effect. I did some research, it was really popular. I did not put much effort uh, to watching trailers or any episodes. I didn't want any spoilers. So I played the first uh, Mass Effect game back from 2007. And I was really impressed with uh, the graphic, especially the story mod. Mass Effect 1 had really uh, the, the most detail about every... Uh, race in the galaxy from the Citadel trilogy. The Volus, the Angara, uh, Turians, Humans, First Contact War. It is a really interesting game. I played all three games uh, from uh, last year, but I find out new the Mass Effect uh, Legendary Edition came out uh, this year. I was really impressed. I was uh, planning to buy it also. It has some more futuristic uh, and the modernized features like the story mode uh, that you had uh, back uh, if you want to play Mass Effect 2. You have put all your information in the second one, but it was more uh, than uh, the new version. So I'm really impressed. We're also going to talk about uh, between the modernized uh, version of the over about this army soldier to Dave in 2022, over the next year in 2022, and about the N7 armor that, uh, that the main storyliner, Commander Shepard, male or female, depends who you are uh, choosing, is wearing. I also want to do that more in details. I do, of course, I do not know what the materials uh, are. It is really difficult uh, what uh, the next armor will be in 200 years. But it is a really interesting uh, topic for the near future. So far, I came not any cross uh, on online between the old uh, combat uniform that we have uh, in this, uh, this timeline and uh, what will happen in the next 200 years. It will be a very interesting topic to do. Even I know it is a Mass Effect game, compared to the real world, uh, real world uh, topic, but it will be a very interesting video. The Mass Effect uh, trilogy, I will definitely go to talk about it, my op own opinions, what could be improved. 
and the width much I will prefer to use it in the near future. My story mode was a female shepherd and I chose to romance with Liara. It was a very interesting uh, story mode, I did not know much about it, but apparently in some way I did the most part in one time very good. But I'm not going to talk about that, I will go that in the talk in the near future video. The Mass Effect Andromeda game I have played it uh, this year because uh, I find out oh it is also a Mass Effect Andromeda. I was interesting uh, to do that, so I bought that also on Steam. I have mixed feelings about uh, this uh, game. I also read uh, online that many people were disappointed in the game, especially about uh, the facial reconstruction and some faces were too uh, as a stone age uh, or more as a statue. I can understand that. I have seen that a few times. But it's an interesting story, especially about the Angara. But everyone has his own opinion, so I will do a separate video about, about that also. So, make, let's make a conclusion. The Japanese Self-Defense Force, the Informal Imperial Army and the Chinese the Kuomintang will also be, uh, be future videos in, for, for next year. I'm really hard at work to make those videos uh, make possible, but I do need more time and I do hope uh, next year will the videos will be done around that time. Also, we're going to talk. I also want to ask the, my viewers if you have any recommendations where I should talk about a specific uniforms, about the Cold War uniforms, or about Second World War uniforms that were not many discussed uh, discussing compared to the U.S. uniform, Russian uniforms, Japanese uniforms, British, French. You also, you, everyone know uh, what they were. But I do not see many uniforms from Denmark, Norway, the Netherlands, Poland, for example. Those uniforms are really interesting. Or I do not even see someone talking about the Italian uniforms. That's just a few things. That if someone has a suggestion and who wants to talk about it, I have contact with a supplier of mine who can also give me the uniforms and every equipment about that time. So if you have a topic you want to see in the near future, please let me know in the comments section down below. The Mass Effect will be also be a near future video. I have started a new campaign uh, from the Mass Effect uh, trilogy, uh, legendary edition I mean. So new videos, new chances. I will talk about my own opinions, uh, the new uh, mods uh, that I really want to see, what could they improve. And also I'm going to talk my own opinions and theories for the new Mass Effect uh, game that will come out in 2023 or even 2025. I do not know. But I do hope they have uh, learned their lesson from Mass Effect Andromeda. And about uh, the TV, TV series uh, about Mass Effect, yeah, I have mixed feelings about that. So, But that's all in a near future uh, video. So please hit the bell notification button, subscribe to this uh, channel, and I do hope you will like uh, this video in the near future. So if you have friends who will like the Mass Effect trilogy, who are also fairly interested in u military uniforms and uh, an army uh, in history you did not know about, please hit the bell notification and let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see in the near future. So I do hope you enjoyed this video update. See you all next time.